the experience that I've gone through has been a totally positive experience. I'm sure that my life will continue as normal for the next 10 years at least. In this film, three men share their experience of prostate cancer. Although they lead very different lives, all three chose the same treatment, prostate brachytherapy. Here, they and the people behind their treatment offer an open, frank perspective to anybody finding themselves in a similar position. When my brother was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer, I decided that perhaps I should just get a test, just to see. I've been a pilot for 36 years, very career. I was short haul for 20 years and then long haul. And uh, so it means I've seen most parts of the world. My other brother is a GP and he got a test as well, in fact. Um, and his turned out to be negative, but mine turned out to be positive. That's a good girl. The fact they took my license away straight away was a bit of a shock because I was the same person the day after I'd been diagnosed as I was the day before. I did need to uh, get the cancer treated. It was a no-brainer for me. I just thought that was it, go for brachytherapy. Along with hundreds of other men throughout the world, Peter turned to the St Luke's Cancer Centre in Guildford for help. Cancer is a very frightening word. Um, and what we try to do is put everything into perspective. For many people, it is uh, initially a devastating uh, concept. The reality, however, for the majority of men, that certainly that we see, that prostate cancer may well not be a lethal disease for them. The main treatments are either to remove it with radical surgery um, or to treat it with high-dose radiation, and that can be done with uh, external beam radiotherapy, brachytherapy, inserting radioactive seeds inside the prostate, or sometimes a combination of both. The brachytherapy team has been treating patients for over 10 years. Made up of a dedicated group of consultants and nurses, they have specialist knowledge in all areas of the treatment. It is important that you know that brachytherapy is a very successful treatment and it is a cure for prostate cancer. We're not looking at buying time or slowing things down, we, treat, we use it as a curative treatment. Brachytherapy is a routine treatment and has a cure rate of over 90% for some patients with early onset prostate cancer. The radioactive seeds that are placed inside the prostate provide a lasting and targeted dose. By inserting the radioactive seeds into the prostate gland, it allows us to give a very high radiation dose to the prostate, but spare the surrounding tissues and so minimize the side effects. The procedure itself is carried out as either a day case or with just one overnight stay. The implanted seeds then treat the cancer over the coming months by delivering a dose of radiation to the prostate gland. It's a very routine operation and whilst it's not routine for the person going through it, from a surgical point of view it's a very straightforward operation in the right hands which is why we're lucky here to have such good consultants. It does actually make you feel comfortable that it's routine. If it was a big deal then I'm sure I'd feel a bit more nervous about it. The idea that by simply inserting very small seeds into the prostate, the most intimate part of your body, and that they can facilitate a cure is absolutely amazing. For the last 35 years, Tony has worked in design and advertising for some of the world's leading brands. It's a fantastic job to sort of sit there, you know, sort of creating logos, creating ad campaigns, brochures, packaging, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it just really is. When his diagnosis came out of the blue five months ago, Tony opted for brachytherapy as a fast route to treatment. With my cancer care, I wanted to get it over with. I wanted it to be something in the past. It's the least evasive. You know, it, it's convenient, it's done, it's over and done in a day, and the, and the side effects are minimal. 
The more knowledge you have, the more you're aware of these things, the better things are for you. For any patient coming to St Luke's, the specialist nurses provide the most regular contact. They oversee a patient's entire care, before and during treatment, and well into recovery. Their experience can really help at an early stage, particularly when discussing potential side effects. We often have long conversations with men on the phone before they even get to clinic, discussing the options, discussing brachytherapy in a lot more detail so they know what to expect about the side effects and, and their lifestyle and really if anything's going to change afterwards. Jeff retired two years ago, following a lifelong career on the railways. I've got various hobbies of shooting, fishing, etc., and being, being uh, a country person um, of, of enjoying life uh, to, to the full. His active lifestyle was a deciding factor in which treatment to go for. The brachytherapy nurse had, had offered me the removal of the prostate option and had also said to me there were certain side effects with that. Surgery has a high risk of causing incontinence, often just temporary, but sometimes permanent, and, and a greater chance of causing erectile dysfunction. I didn't particularly like the idea of, uh, of, ha of having to sort of wear a nappy, if you like, because I'm not a person that sits around in the house all day and, and could afford the time of being uh, sat indoors waiting, at, you know, waiting to go to the loo. I'm, I'm a more active person. Certainly incontinent would have made um, flying very difficult. I probably couldn't have continued, I don't think, in aviation if I'd become incontinent. It would have been very difficult. All treatments for prostate cancer have potential side effects. Commonly, these are incontinence and erectile dysfunction. But the levels associated with brachytherapy are typically very low. Patients coming to see us can obtain great confidence that uh, the side effect profile is going to be low. It's highly unlikely that they're going to experience incontinence. Less than 1% of our patients do at any time. And the vast majority of our patients, over 82%, can uh, retain their erections as well. Obviously, no male wants to be impotent if they can avoid it. For, for I think, any, any virile male uh, which still has a, a, a happy sex life, then uh, that's fairly important. All the evidence was that with brachytherapy, the risk was very low. They see it as the clear decision, you know, why go through surgery, perhaps, um, when there's going to be a lot more side effects, if you can have something that's equally as good and have fewer side effects. Brachytherapy techniques are developing all the time, and the way in which the treatment has evolved at Guildford means that patients can be in theatre just four weeks after having an initial ultrasound scan. Known as 4D brachytherapy, theirs is the latest state-of-the-art real-time method and takes around 45 minutes to perform. The number of seeds needed have already been worked out from the outpatient scan. And consultants use what's called real-time planning to precisely place the seeds in the prostate and away from other sensitive tissues. For most patients, this is a relatively minor operation. There are no great incisions or wounds to recover from. Indeed, patients frequently are treated as a day case or at most an overnight stay. Most men are under anaesthetic for probably not more than an hour. Um, and when you do wake up, you're going to be quite awake and be ready to have a drink, have something to eat, you know, almost straight away. I went in about 12 o'clock on a Tuesday and was in the operating theatre about two hours later, was awake soon after that and I, I actually, I have to say, I didn't actually think I'd had an operation. I actually felt quite strange really because uh, I'd been prepared, you know, with the gown and all the other stuff, but of course I'm still perfectly fit, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. and. Um, they have to will you down. You, you have to go on the bed. You're not allowed to walk. They put a mask over my face, which is quite funny. And they said, uh, are you feeling sleepy yet? And I said, no. 
because I wasn't and I didn't want them to stop, you know, before I'd uh, sort of gone to sleep. But then, of course, the next, next second I was out. It didn't seem five minutes later and I was awake again uh, in the recovery ward um, as, as happy as Larry. I don't think you can ever reassure someone enough that it's not going to hurt until they actually go through it. But I think everybody's always quick to tell me how comfortable they feel. The reason the procedure manages to reduce any pain is down to the fact that the consultants are using just tiny needles to insert the seeds, like the sort you take blood with. They leave no wounds and only minor bruising. So when a patient does return home, any further discomfort is going to be kept to a minimum. Although one might feel a little fatigued, and um, some of that's due to the anaesthetic, you know, a lot of our patients are not only working normally after the um, uh, procedure, but are out doing sporting activities such as playing tennis, playing golf within a, a week or two of the, the implant. I feel well on the way to recovery. Within a week of having the brachytherapy, I was back at work doing the things I really needed to do to pay the bills. I was attending the gym and I was living quite an active life, but I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't 100%. I was back fishing, uh, I think it was two days later. So it didn't take me very long to, uh, to, to get back to my activities. Just a few weeks after his implant, Jeff is still in the earliest period of recovery. There were certain times uh, during the, the first few days when it was a little bit uncomfortable and, and the fact that I needed to go to, to the loo more often than not. But uh, on the whole, I mean, it was, it was very good. Like Jeff, it's normal for all patients to experience some swelling of their prostate. With this swelling comes a short-term change in urinary symptoms. What you tend to see is that you get up more often at night to pass water, and during the day you can't put off going for any length of time. I wouldn't say I suffer from incontinence, more an, an urgent need to go to the toilet. You can put it into a little parcel and it'll be sorted out. That tends to peak at around the six week mark and then gradually the urinary symptoms start to improve over the course of, of several months. In the months and years that follow treatment, there's very little to prevent patients resuming their normal lives. You do feel that you've got a new lease of life now. Um, still doing as much sport as I ever did and uh, I feel absolutely fit and healthy. Shortly after his implant, Peter had his pilot's licence reinstated. I'm still travelling all around the world. It was nice to get back into the air, actually. So uh, that makes me feel that maybe it will be difficult to retire. My PSA's gone from 10.6 when I had the op and it's now down at less than one. The Guildford team continue to follow up patients for many years after brachytherapy treatment. Their advice over this time can really make a difference to a patient's long-term health. I think it's very easy sometimes after treatment for cancer to just be so grateful that you're alive that you think you, you shouldn't really ask about anything else. But I strongly believe that it's about quality of life, not just quantity. And that's something where I really think we can help. By discussing with them about urinary symptoms, erections, their bowels perhaps, we can really um, change things for them. So really it's important they do talk to us about it because otherwise we can't help. Oh, hi, Claire. They were yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, that's, just that's, um, fonts of knowledge. Because they, they are so specialised in that particular treatment, there's nothing you could say that would flummox them. Yes, uh, that's, uh, that's really good. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're people persons, if you like. They, 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 they treat you as, as, as one of them. Uh, there, were, there are no, uh, no stigmas attached with, with anything that they talk about. The they would let me ring up at any time if I had any concern, and they made it very, very obvious that they wanted me to, that it was never an inconvenience. 
our specialist nurses, our coordinators, all our team are available both on the telephone and through emails. And, uh, and that's both before the procedure as well as afterwards. And it's having the same people who have great experience in looking after and caring for patients both before and afterwards that really allows us to offer such a high quality service here in Guildford. Because I've been here for so long actually, I've seen men go through the treatment and come out the other end and you know, we've been able to say to them, look, it looks as if you're, you know, you've been cured from your prostate cancer, off you go. I often think about the, you know, the, how, are these, how are these little seeds working within, inside of me and, and although I don't feel, I don't feel any different, uh, the, uh, they must be working away there somehow. I feel as if uh, it's all over now, and, and not all over. My life's not all over, but but but, it's, but everything is behind me. I have to say, without any shadow of a doubt, I know I'm going to be cured. I know it's going to it's going to it's going to work. We just need to get rid of the sort of the idea that cancer is a very very scary thing. It is if you don't treat it properly. Brachytherapy for me has just been um, fantastic. Two and a half years ago I had um, prostate cancer and I've had a, a minor op and now I haven't got prostate cancer. It was a routine op, it's caused me very little problems and uh, I feel now I'm the same guy as I was two and a half years ago and uh, looking forward to the rest of, uh, rest of my life. The consultants working in prostate brachytherapy at Guildford are Julian Money Curl, Sarah Kaksar, Robert Lang, and Stephen Langley. If you would like to know more about brachytherapy, visit prostatebrachytherapycenter.com.